Boxing is booming in Malta with an explosion of well-promoted and regular fight shows, better boxers in the ring and a growing appetite for the sport across the sun-soaked Mediterranean island. Boxing's definitely growing in Malta. I mean, we've got about a dozen or more dedicated boxing gyms here. So that shows even at grassroots level, there's a real interest in our sport. And last year, there was a professional boxing event pretty much every month. And they were good shows, pretty much packed out as well, good attendance. And last year as well, we had Malta's first ever world title fight. We had Hannah Rankin against Patricia Berkow fighting for the WBC title. And neither of them are Maltese, but that fight happened right here in Malta. And we had local boy, Haitam Lamuz, picking up the WBC Mediterranean title, again, here on home soil. So things are looking very good for Maltese boxing. It's definitely on the up. Here we are supervising growth uh, on the sport. We represent the European Boxing Union and the World Boxing Council, as well as the World Boxing Association. And we do both amateur and professional uh, events. That was Malta Boxing Association President Mike James, who's spearheading regulation of the sport on the island and making sure those who fight and work in Maltese boxing are safe, get paid and keep Malta punching above its weight. Are we doing a good job? Yes, we are. Uh, we are the association who has brought up the medical standards in Malta uh, by where before they were always getting together and having a sparring match within clubs. And we are the ones responsible for regularizing the sport here in Malta. Whether we can do better, yes, there's always room for improvement within our sport. They are doing a good job with regards to safety and uh, with regards to supervising the shows, but I think they can do a better job um, with regards to being more transparent towards the fighters and, and they can do a better job in protecting the fighters and assisting them financially, like, um, Taking care of uh, better deals financially for the for the boxers to do their uh, their their medicals every year um, and uh, taking care of them after fights um, if they have injuries and stuff like that because it's all well and good organizing the fights and supervising them but uh, the boxers' health needs to be paramount and especially in a sport as small as it is in Malta with very little financial investments. A lot of the boxers have to work their full-time job and train as well. So if uh, the licenses and the cost of getting a license to turn professional becomes prohibitive for the boxers, then uh, this, the sport can die a slow and natural death. The NBA is still in its infancy, but its first steps have been encouraging for all those involved in the Malta boxing scene. The, the state of boxing in Malta is uh, quite healthy, I guess, with uh, many shows, um, like eight to ten shows, um, professional shows, organized yearly, and then you have the amateur boxing as well, which um, has been has been set up recently, like three or four years ago. Um, I mean, we're still taking our baby steps, um, we're moving forward, um, but to grow and thrive, we need uh, investment, financial investment. We need people with lineage and experience in boxing, um, uh, either coming here to train people or we need boxers who are willing to go abroad and learn their craft and travel as much as they can because boxing on this island is what it is. And I mean, you can be a star on the island, but then you go abroad and you get the floor wiped with yourself. So, I mean, if you're not gonna invest in yourself and we get proper coaches, like proper good coaches, training our boxers on this island. It's gonna remain what it is, you know? Or this generation um, goes out, gets the experience, and when they turn into coaches, that coaching themselves, go into coaching themselves, then they will have a lot better experience to give the younger fighters coming up today, and then they will have a, lot, uh, a much better foothold in their career than uh, the current boxers have. Well, we follow rigorous rules, uh, so if we are to compare ourselves with the rules, our rules are the same as the uh, British Boxing Board of Control. Uh, they are our, our mentors, and basically that means that our standard of safety is at the highest in Europe. In the ring, local hero Christian Skembri is still the golden boy of Malta boxing, but now other fighters are pulling on their gloves and joining the Maltese boxing revolution. You've got a, a lot of good up-and-coming boxers here in Malta, 
like Brandon Borge. Um, he's undefeated. He's definitely a talent to keep an eye on. He's very technical, it's a lot of skills, you know. Um, he's got his uh, first fight abroad coming up very soon. He's going to be fighting in the UK. So it's good that people are beginning to take notice. And yeah, he's definitely one to keep an eye on. We've also got a Libyan boxer over here called Malik Zinad. They call him the trigger because he's a bit of a knockout artist. He spent a bit of time in the UK training with Shane McGuigan and Barry McGuigan. You know, so he's another sort of guy you should be keeping an eye on. He's got a bright future ahead of him. And of course, we've got Mr. Scott Dixon based in Malta as well. You know, he might be familiar to a lot of the, the British viewers. You know, he's, he's had quite an eventful life. So I, I suggest you read his autobiography. So the ambitions that we have is to eventually have a European Boxing Union champion here in Malta. We would like to host that event. Uh, and going forward from there, we would like to see a Maltese title, uh, a Maltese fighter win a, a WBC title.